With the new Axe mission, we now have three new schematics and another Aether portal. So let me give you the rundown on how to unlock the portal and the new schematics. First, you have to complete the second mission in Act 4. You can do this by going to the Exfil portal in Tier 3. In the mission, the zombies will only be Tier 2 difficulty, so this can be done with a Pack 2 weapon and the best Aether tool that you have. I went in with the Haymaker using this build. Bringing in Death Perception and a Gas Mask is also recommended. Once the mission starts, you can clear it pretty easy just following the objectives on screen, but there's going to be some parts outside of the mission that you need to pick up. The first one is on the boat next to where you spawn. You can make it up there by running around the back of it and climbing up these rocks. There'll be an obelisk up there, and after activating it, an insta-kill will spawn. And all you gotta do is melee zombies within the circle around it. If the insta-kill runs out before the challenge is complete, just kill a few zombies with your weapon, and either it'll end or spawn another insta-kill. Once you complete it, grab the purple tattered MMA gloves from the rift, and you can head over to the next item. Make your way over to E3 on the map, and the obelisk will be at the intersection of these dirt roads. After activating it, you'll need to get headshots within the circle. And once you're done, pick up the purple perforated target from the rift. There's still one more item to get, but for now, you can head back to Rabinov, go up the stairs of the building, and rescue the dudes in the room. Then head back to the rover and escort it until you get near the fair. Once you get there, don't interact with this computer. It just makes it easier to grab the next item if you don't. Head down over the ledge to I-8 on the map, and there will be the last obelisk. After starting it, you'll have to get kills within the circle with four different ammo mods. And if you didn't bring any, don't worry. There'll be little tombstones floating around it where you can get the required ammo mod. To know what ammo mod to use, just look at the circle around you. For me, it started with flames, so go ahead and grab Napalm Burst, but pay close attention when you grab it because after interacting with the tombstone, it will drop the ammo mod on the ground. Now just take out zombies in the circle with it until it changes to the next element. For me, my next circle was frost, so I went and grabbed Cryo Freeze and took zombies out with it. Now you just need to rinse and repeat this until the obelisk is complete. But this is what the electric circle looked like, which you need dead wire for, and this is what the gas circle looked like, which you need brain rot for. Once all these are done, grab the purple pristine mirror from the rift. Now that you have these items, you can complete the mission like normal. Head back over to the computer and interact with it. This will transform into an electric mimic, so take that dude out and head back to the ACV. It'll move a little bit until it gets to this red ball, and once it stops, follow Rabinov into this little room just to make this part go by a bit faster. Then follow it again to the mall, and once it stops in front of it, head on in and you'll have to clear out all the spores in this stronghold. If you have death perception, it makes this step a lot easier. There'll be 15 spores throughout the mall on both floors, so make sure you get them all. And if at any point your gas mask starts to get low, you can find an ammo cache down the main hall to the left. Once you got these cleared, I recommend going over to this door, down this hallway, in near these stairs to escort the dude out of the mall. Otherwise, it'll take him forever to get his dumb ass out. Now follow the ACV again to the final spot over by this stage and start up the P&D. And you just gotta wait until it's done. Once it's complete, an electric mangler will spawn. This boss fight isn't too bad, but just be careful when it EMPs because you won't be able to reload or use your field upgrade. Once you beat his ass, a gift rift will spawn with a golden drum in it. Make sure you pick that up. Now that that's done, we gotta upgrade all these purple items to gold so you can go ahead and open up the new portal on top of the mountain in tier 3. To do this, hop in game with your weapon in choice. I'm still personally using the haymaker from before, and make sure you have all your purple items and your drum with you. To upgrade the mirror, head on over to the graveyard in I-3 on the map. There will be a gravestone near the cliffside, so interact with that and three zombies will spawn. You'll have to kill them with the ammo mod that matches the color glowing on them. To get the ammo mods, head on over to this little castle looking thing nearby, and at the top will be ammo mods that you can grab the same way you did at the obelisk. For the purple zombie, you'll need to kill it with dead wire. For the white frost zombie, you'll need cryo freeze, and for the fire one, you'll need napalm burst. When they're all dead, make sure you pick up your upgraded golden mirror. And just a heads up, if you mess up any of these at any point, it'll drop your purple item back and you can restart it. Next, to upgrade the target, head on over to H8 and near the end of the road, there'll be a firing ring. Place it on the closest target and it'll spawn some floating blue targets that'll turn red once you hit them. Most of them are pretty obvious spots in front of you, but there will be one that spawns behind the crates across the road from the firing range, and there will be one behind the wall behind the firing range. Once all the targets have been hit, a glowing red zombie will spawn out of the last one. Take it out and collect your golden target. Lastly, to upgrade the gloves, head on over to the boxing gym in F8. 
Stand in the boxing ring and interact with it to start. Next, go over to the red punching bags and punch them quickly from left to right. This will spawn in a zombie that can only be damaged in the ring with melee attacks. You can either beat his ass with your fists or use a knife to take it out quickly, but just make sure you pick up the golden gloves when you're done. Now that you have all the items, you're ready to start up the new Aether Portal. I recommend having your weapon at least pack a punch three first because after putting all four items in their pedestals like so, you'll have to fight a boss mimic that comes out of the portal. Once you defeat it, you won't have to go and grab these items again, and you'll always have access to this portal. But to go through it and to go into the Dark Aether, you'll either need a normal or an Elder Sigil, the same ones that were used on the first Aether portal. Sigils can be found by doing tier 3 contracts, and Elder Sigils can be found by completing contracts in the Dark Aether. Either Sigil will take you into the Dark Aether, and the challenges are basically the same, but if you want a chance to get the new schematics, you can only get them through the the Elder Sigil. Also, with a normal Sigil, you'll have 30 minutes to complete these challenges, but with the Elder, you only have 15. So make sure you're pretty set up before going in. I recommend having all the perks along with a fully pack-a-punched weapon with the best Aether tool you have. And the weapon that we found works best here in the Aether is the crossbow with this build here. Really make sure if you use this weapon though that you have PhD with you, otherwise you run the risk of knocking yourself with it. Anyways, once you make it into the Dark Aether, three bunnies will be floating in front of you and will fly away to their hiding spot. You gotta find these little shits to start up the contracts. The first bunny will be in this warehouse up in the office and picking it up will start up a bounty contract. In a normal sigil, this will spawn in a mangler. In the elder sigil, you'll get a mega abomination. And the crossbow makes this fight pretty easy, but the fight takes place in the fog and zombies can sneak up on you. So just be careful and make sure you take some of them out every once in a while so you can replenish some ammo. Once it's dead, make sure you check your rift for possible schematics. The next contract bunny is located on top of this building next to the gas station. You can get to the top by climbing the ladder on the side and at the very top over the door you'll find the bunny. This will start up an outlast contract that's near the fair inside of the diner. Start it up and survive until the progress hits 100%. Grab your reward and keep moving to the last bunny. This one will be at the very top of the mall. You can make it up there by parkouring up the side of the building from this truck crossing the makeshift bridge and climbing this part of the roof to get to the top. Anyways, grabbing this bunny will start up an Aether Extractor contract. This one is a bit tough to complete, but using decoys, cashmere's, monkey bombs, and Aether Shroud will make it a bit easier to complete. If you're doing this with a squad, it helps to have a teammate spam the crossbow shots on whoever is activating the rocket. Do this to all three rockets to complete the contract. Once done, make sure you grab your rewards and get the hell out of there. There'll be an evac portal across the road from the third rocket in this building here to make it out with your loot. And if you're lucky, you can get all three of the new schematics from one run. And if not, you'll have to use another Elder Sigil and try again. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.